Hello, hello, hello. I'm Alicar Night Raven. Welcome to my channel. And welcome to my next Legacy United review. And this is the next Titan. The one for Legacy United. And it is from the Armada Universe Tidal Wave. And this is so cool. He has needed an update for so long. And it's so nice to get a big, big figure of him because... The original Tidal Wave, yeah, it worked because of the combination with Megatron slash Galvatron um, at the time, but he was still way undersized from what he should have been. So, very happy that we have it as a Titan now, and yeah, so as usual, let us take a look at our packaging. This is very, very large packaging, but really, really nice image of Tidal Wave on the front there. Got some lightning strikes there. Got his arm there. You can see the uh, Dark Fleet is what they're called. You can see shooting off lasers. You can see a couple of like small little Autobots. I'm not sure who they are. His legs, he is in the Wata, Legacy United. Transformers on the side there, Takar Tomi. Titan class, multiple languages. Another couple uh, Autobots in there. Still not sure who they are. I think they're like generic Autobots from Armada, possibly. Or they're like maybe Minicons? I don't know. Because there's that fella right there. Here on this side, you can see Galvatron right there. Very cool. Standing on a rock. Yeah. All in the water. On this side, our Legacy United artwork. And there's the full artwork image. So again, very wonderful. 40 years. On the top, Legacy United with some storm clouds and lightning strikes. So still very cool. On the bottom barcode and words and kind of like under the water seeing more of tidal waves legs so really nice detail like you, it kind of gives us like a little bit more under the water before it goes pitch black <laughs> and on the back our product shots there he is in big robot mood there he is in the combined Dark Fleet mode, um, the base mode, which I'm not going to do. He never had a base mode originally, so I don't see the point of doing it. There's the Dark Fleet and the mini Dark Fleet that goes on to Galvatron or Megatron, depending on which one you got. So, yeah. So still very, very cool. And... Yeah, really do like that. So that's it for the box. And now we'll bring in whew, the Dark Fleet. So here is the battleship. And I think we'll go one, one by one on each one. So very cool. Um, mine not fully together, I think. No, there it is. So, very nice big old Decepticon symbol right there. You can see some yellow, little bits of black in here. Got the purple tower. Yeah, very cool. It does have some more rolling wheels, so it can roll as if it's in the water, just floating along. <laughs> but, yeah, some like propellers right there that keep it moving you can see uh, get these there we go there we go mm. got some lasers right there they are blast effect compatible so you can put blast effects in there um, nice dark stripe there another one here yeah pretty basic so that's it for that that one. We'll set him sort of off to the side. Now we've got... Oh, what part of this is? This is 
uh, another ship. I'm not sure what I'm not sure what they're all called, but you got different little. I got one here that sort of <laughs> actually <laughs> see if there's a way to fix that. <laughs> Didn't even think about using one of these. No, maybe not. <laughs> There's a way to fix that, I'm sure. I'm sure there is. It's sitting too far off to the side, but oh well. There's some yellow. These four pieces and these four pieces are separate when you open it up, so you do want to put them on. And they can rotate, but if you look, there is also like a small little post and a post hole right there so they can ha they do have like a stopping point and it's same thing with these ones here so so it's pretty cool so like you can rotate them around but then there's also locking points these cannons can all move up and down so very nice on that some more yellow here on all this purple some pink showing some pink showing there that is the head yeah very nice and there's wheels on this as well so can float <laughs> they, they roll in a way <laughs> but yeah and then there's where his mini um guy sits so yeah so there is that one oh and i almost forgot more yellow some orange decepticon symbol right there a little bit of silver in places so very nice very very nice and now we'll bring in this is the troop carrier i have the same problem that everybody else is having with it which it doesn't like to stay together like um, now it is but there we go like it comes apart real easily like i wish these had a better grip on these or there was like another set that like helped hold it together because you get them together and you set them down in a way but yeah so we'll take a look septicon symbol here lots of purple and gray some silver some pink and yellow a little bit of orange up here on the back you can see i'm guessing jets in a way something like that it does have wheels on the bottom as well. So it can roll very nicely. So yeah. So again, very, very cool. Really, really like this. Um, and like I'll show off like um the combination with galvatron at the end but i do have galvatron here so you can see them separated here and here's galvatron sort of <laughs> see the size difference there so again not too bad not too bad at all it's so another combined dark fleet mode where i'll set this off to the side and do this at the end we're gonna start with this so i want to raise this up ouch <laughs> bring these around like this and then this is gonna come out and what we want to do is want to bring these out or no no these will stay in so there's slots here that are going to tab on there and we want to make sure that this goes over the crest of his head then we can tab it together there we go and now bring this one over as well there we go and then we can bring this back down so there's that part of it and now he's sort of a 
a little wobbly. So now what we're gonna do, separate this. Wanna bring this out. And the this is going to go right in there. Let me get this other one out of the way so you can kind of see what I'm doing. You want this little piece sit sitting in right in there. And then there's a slot here and a tab right here. So we want to just bring this, push this in, and line it all up. And there's one. And now for the other one. So again, we want to flip this out. So line that up and then begin lining everything else up. And final bit, flip these out. And here we go. There is the combined. <laughs> Dark Fleet mode. And of course, bring in Galvatron. And here's Galvatron. <laughs> like it's huge. Like I am so happy with how big he is. He's supposed to be this big personally, in my personal opinion. Like, especially considering that if you rewatch the cartoon, Tidal Wave, I mean, granted the size was inconsistent. Happens in shows or cartoons like that a lot. But in general, Tidal Wave was huge. He was not like only about this tall, you know, like only so much taller than than Megatron. He was, he towered more over Megatron than what they did in the sh uh, with the toy. So, whew, there we go on that. So now, let's combine him into robot mode. What we want to do is separate, separate. Oh, all right. Separates. There we go. Set that off to the side for now, and we're going to start on the legs. So, first bit we want to do is open this up so we can open this up. Let me raise it up. Then we're going to rotate this out, close this up, rotate this up more, and then rotate this in. And there is and that's a problem sometimes so this middle tab is going to tab there when you're going into ship mode these outer tabs and the middle tab all tab in to the top of the foot there but this is going to go in like this open up oh you want to close these back up open up bring that in there's one leg done now for the next one so again open this up Open up. We'll rotate that in now. I don't know why that does that. Open this up. Bring this out. Like that. Close that up. Close or open up the feet. Close that up. And there's those legs. So we'll set those off to the side. Separate these guys. Separate. Separate. We'll set this off to the side and do that last. So now we're going to deal with this section. So what we want to do, flip this up. And that is going to let us bring this up, spin it. Bring it down. Or actually, we'll leave it up for now. We're going to rotate these out. Oof. Now we'll close this up. And then we want to rotate these down. And this is going to tab in right there. Make sure it's all lined up. There we go. Same thing on this side. 
right here, tab into there. Come on, there we go. All right, so now what we do, raise it up a little bit higher, see what I'm doing. We're going to plug in the legs like, like this. There's one, and there's the other. And now we'll set him off to the side so we can deal with this part. So what we do, fold this down, fold this down. Then we're going to separate it. Separate it. Oh. Oh. There we go. Rotate this up. Rotate this around that's going to be the hands and then want rotate it here and then we want to bring this out and there's one arm done set that off to the side again bring this out rotate it around bring it down there's the hands, bring this up, or rotate it, and then rotate this out. And the final bit that we shall do, raise it up even more. The arms are gonna plug in right there. So there's one, and there's two, and there we go. And there we have Tidal Wave in his combined mode. Man, he is a big feller. Yeah, you can see the way these hands are. And yeah, coming all the way down. And comparison real quick. Here's Megatron. <laughs> so, yeah, Megatron's shoulders come up to his mid-thighs. <laughs> Yeah, he's a big fella. Big, big fella. So we'll move Megatron out of the way and bring him back in for the combined mode. So, but articulation, or let's, let's take a look at the head. So really, really nice. Silver face, yellow eyes, got the pink on his big mohawk. That big chin. Again, all those details are now in his robot mode that we saw in each individual um, alternate mode. So again, very, very nice. And there's some more purple or pinkish purple. But yeah, really nice. Um, articulation, the head only rotates. There's no up and down, no movement of the mouth. That would have been cool, but it's all right. Arms come out that far, can rotate back and forth. We've got swivel above the elbow and the elbow over 90. So very cool on that. If you lift this up and lift up the butt plate, we do have waist. Um, leg oh this can be easy <laughs> leg doesn't really isn't really going to go out very far because that piece only goes out so far but yeah can kick forward that far can kick back a lot further can do over the full van dam thigh 90 for the knee and the foot Okay, give me just a second. Catch my breath. So the, the toe can come down. Same thing with the heel. And we've got ankle pivot. Really nice ankle pivot. Oh. All right. So, yeah, that's pretty much Tidal Wave. Really good figure. So now for the pieces that we need, we need this piece. Come on, get out of there. Once you can get a hold of it. 
and I'm tearing my fingernails apart trying to get it. <laughs> All right, come on out of there, buddy. So need this piece, set that off to the side. Then we're gonna open this up and pull it out and set that one off to the side for his hand. What we essentially do is rotate this and there's like a hand he can use. Poor guy, we're ripping his hands apart. But yeah, pull this. Pull it. Pull it out. Same thing with the hand. And then we want to come down here. We want to take this piece out. This piece out. And the final pieces are in here. Come on. So this piece and this piece, there we go. And I'll set tidal wave off to the side and we'll assemble the mini dark fleet. So we're gonna rotate these all forward and we want them to tab in like that and that's going to keep them straight so there's this one now for these we're going to bring these around like this bring these around do apologize about that. Some of my neighbors are, yeah. So same thing with this. I wanna bring this around until it is connected together. We wanna make sure that we rotate this and then we'll combine these. There's that part of the dark fleet and then we're gonna combine these and these I think they yeah looks like they go on like this go on just like this There we go. There we go. Whoop, nope, I went the wrong way with this one. <laughs> there we go. So there's the mini dark fleet. And it, it's kind of cool. <laughs> it works. It works somewhat. So, but we're going to bring in Galvatron now and we're going to get him ready for the combination. So, what we want to do first, bring this out. We want to raise you up some more. Bring this up. Bring this out so we can rotate everything around like this. Close this up. Again, like I mentioned in his review, I really wish that we just bring it down. really wish that these shoulder pads locked in so much better than they do all right so first things we'll do we're gonna take these back off and we want to make sure is there a specific side? No, I don't think there is. Yeah, I think they're all the same. So that'll sort of bring his height up a little bit. Then for the back, we're going to separate this. We want to... Oh, <laughs> these, these open up a little bit. I didn't notice that before. So bring this out. 
and bring this out and they're going to go together these two posts these two post holes like this and then we've got one two three posts that are going to plug in on his back one two three so we want to make sure we get them lined up so there's one there's another one yeah, again it's getting it all lined up Come on, dang it. Come on, there we go. <sighs> there we go. And the final bits, the way they go on. So this, we have this one, and they want us to tab them in here instead of on the arms and I can understand why the arms um, can't hold the weight this again plugs in right here and there we go and there we have Galvatron armored up again very cool um, I do like how they came up with it um i think it works very very well um absolutely love it um the colors definitely work better with galvatron than with megatron especially these feet pieces um these feet pieces mismatch with uh armada megatron but the armada galvatron they're the right color and i think they had i mean they definitely had more in mind with galvatron um, because it's obviously on the back of the box and the image on the side of the box. So, yeah. Very, very cool. Really, really love this. Um, so, take him out of the way. Give me a second. I will be back with Tidal Wave with all his pieces back together. All right, and here's Tidal Wave back together. So, yeah, again, very cool. Definitely recommend this, especially if you are a fan of the Armada universe um, and wanted a bigger tidal wave. I know some people would have preferred the original toy colors. I do like the fact that they went with the animation colors. Definitely should have done should do that first, anyways. Because yeah, for those of us that watched the animation, this is what we wanted in that original toy, and the only way to have gotten that at the time was from Takara in Japan and not everybody was able to go that route at the time so yeah so again very cool definitely recommend um, I got mine from Big Bad Toy Store definitely recommend checking them out great place where I get a majority of my figures and always uh, lots of stuff up for, uh, for pre-order sometimes sales going on so definitely recommend it so yeah that is going to be it for me as always i want to say thank you for watching please like comment subscribe join my patreon if you wish and i'll see you all later